This urge you a deadbeat, mom. You're what this? Yo, hey, listen. I, I got one baby bay for the days out, one for the nights out, one for the lights out. I got one I can tell come later, and I got one I can tell come right now. Got, got a bay that drops off cash, got a bay that direct debits in a flash. It's been a really long time since, uh, since I dropped a video, especially with two guests. Guys, introduce yourself and also give your like acts and stuff. Um, you guys already know who I am, Yasmin Pink. Duh. Check me out on YouTube, check me out on Instagram, and you guys already know this is my sis. Yep, TikTok. Oh, yeah, Yasmin Pink. Yasmin Pink everywhere, even my Snapchat. But that's Yasmin.pink. Okay, cool. Go on, it's your boy K Ink, obviously. Um, what, where am I? K Ink underscore underscore on the gram. K Ink underscore underscore on TikTok. Yeah, I'm new to this, trust me. A bit Tell them what you do, though. What do you do? What, as in my actual job? No, no I do on social. Hey, what are you, what I'm you a rock star living life, being <laughs> awesome, do you know what I mean? I was about to say, like my job. No, you know no, I mean? no. I'm a rock star living life, it's awesome, and I brought this show, um, yeah, just check my gram, you'll see everything. He's a rock star. Rock star. Hey. hey. So, I don't know, I feel like we're in too much of a good mood to do this video, but this is a really important video, yeah. because I feel like sometimes when you're an influencer, people um, think you semi live a perfect life because you only yeah. show show the good side right Honestly. and um i just thought it was important to, to have like a serious talk about things that we're not that happy with in our lives because i feel like it makes us more human do you know what i mean so we're gonna talk about insecurities things we don't like about our lives um i don't know who wants to start do you like like start? I can stop. Yeah, you can, yeah, you stop. I've got like one and a half insecurities. I think you should I'm start only going to mention about one or two, literally. No, you're going to mention as many as you can. Oh, I'm going to start <laughs> with my biggest insecurity. Okay, no, I'll, I'll start with a light one. Yeah. Yeah, let me start with a, with a light one. Like, when I say light, I mean like I could live with it for the rest of my life. And then I'll go into a deep one. Okay. Um, so a light one. Um, I really don't like my arms. You already know this. I yeah. hate my arms. Actually, do you know if I had to pick between back fat and arms, I hate my arms more. Wow. So like next year, I'm trying to have surgery to make my arms smaller. I really hate my arms. Even when I was smaller, when because back in the day, obviously when I was a bit younger, I was like a size eight, 10. I still hated my arms. I just hate my arms. And like, you know, in, in you, let me tell you, this is how deep it is. If I take a picture with someone, and they're not into editing photos, I will say, this is the one thing I beg for. I'll say, I beg you, my arms though. Can you just, yeah. <laughs> just my arms. I swear to God, she nothing, don't care about else. nothing else. Nothing else. Don't care about her booty. No. Don't care. You know how Instagram models be doing yeah. up their waist, be adding up all this extra bum. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I did all the airbrush. In fact, there's one time I edited, edited her picture and there was too oh, much no airbrush. She don't like that shit, but. Yeah. yeah, no, my arms are not my number one. But you know what? I'm going to add to that, it's not one of my insecurities, but I will say it, obviously everyone knows I have done surgery, I have definitely done surgery on my arms. And you liked it? Uh, yeah. Okay. 100%. Made a huge difference to my upper body half. Okay, cool. And this was before I got my breast done. So I'm, I'm so excited. No, it's good, it's good. You're going to wear like some long sleeve thing, you're going to be like a skeleton. Really? Let's get off a bit, yeah. Well, get, get some, I know. Get some I, I mean, I don't That's think, what? I don't think it's, I don't think it's a positive for me, thing for me to be saying this because I know so many women struggle with the arm thing and if I'm really honest I think it's in our head because no I've never had a, a guy be like oh your arm or yeah never yeah, that's very yeah. that's very yeah I can definitely say you don't have arms very, right it's, it's in our head it's a rare thing for a man to be even women that there's women that don't deal with like big arms it's more like um finger rings yeah yeah I've never heard men mention much about that. Yeah. That and um, another thing, this is not anything to do with what we're talking about, but a lot of women are insecure about their calves. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm on, learning new stuff today. Yeah, so you know Love Island, not the most recent one, but it was a uh, Love Island season to do with someone called Shauna Phillips. It was the one that Yuanda was on. Okay. Do you remember yeah. Yuanda? Yeah. yeah. So she had some issues where a lot of people were attacking her for the way her thighs were shaped and her calves to the point that she actually did surgery <gasps> um she did do surgery um i don't really know how she looks now i, I think she looks great to be honest she's got thick legs whatever mm. in it like but yeah she it was a big insecurity for her so oh. that but it's something that i don't see men pick up on women yeah 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 all, like it's that, our own that is definitely she's thick as she's thick like thick. she yeah thick thick we like 
Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, it's just it's just in my brain. I don't want to have a bit be a bad influence. It's just something I don't like. It's, it's my funny. number one. Like everyone's got their thing, and my thing is my arms. I'll tell you a small thing that I will like. I'm actually not ever gonna really change, and the reason why I can't change it because it's actually a genetic thing. And it's something I didn't really grow up understanding until it was mentioned to me. So when I went viral, when I was on Batch or whatever, a lot of people used to come to me about my gums and my teeth. These times, I actually go to dentist like once a year. Like I do the whole clean and everything. Mm. Um, I've got my teeth whitened, whatever. I proper look after my teeth. Every time I go to the dentist, they have nothing negative to say. But people were getting onto my smile, my gums. And I'll say that's definitely insecurity for me. But for me, the angle that I'm going to come at is how I dealt with it. Because it was generally something I couldn't change. When people always message me about it or try to attack me about it, it's one of them ones where like I wish they were educated enough to know that this is a genetic thing. Even if I decided to spend money and do surgery... It's not something that would be fixed. I can get veneers and my gums are still going to be the same. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. Does that yeah. make any sense? Mm. I can whiten my teeth, which I've done. I can put gold in my mouth, which I've done. Get my teeth... This is my gums. This is a genetic thing. And it's a rare thing, don't get me wrong. I've only seen maybe one or two people in my whole life that's got similar mouth to me. But they just get on with it. They just get on with it. And that's how I've had to deal with that insecurity. Like, it's something that I can't change. So I've learned to just accept it, basically, for what it is. Uh, man, going off that, literally, that's when I said I had one and a half insecurity. My big one is my teeth. Like, you got teeth as if well. If I smile, let's see what's wrong with you. You got baby teeth like me. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Why do we have baby teeth? Teddy bears are cute. I'm a big man, I'm not teddy bear, but yeah, no, it's definitely my teeth. Right, I got my dad's teeth in it, obviously. Yeah, no, I wanted my mum's teeth. My mum's teeth, nice, big, stuck together, and that, and I feel like. So like when we was going through a craze and everyone's getting their gold tooth and that, yeah, I was like, yeah. Like, yeah, my, yeah. My yeah. Said, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah. You did the whole bottom. I, I had two. Like, Don't I've had, me. I had know. It, what, now seven years, seven yeah. years I've yeah. had straight like, yeah. and obviously they don't come out in it, but that's how I've been because I really don't like my teeth. They're, yeah. Really? Yeah, even that, though people always tell me, yeah, it's white, that's it's one of the reasons why no, I've not taken not mine out. I used to have two. It was just kind of a thing for me. So going off what you them, said. This was a separate issue growing up. This was well before back chat. I noticed how small my teeth were. And I used to think to myself, is that why so much gum is showing? Because I've got small teeth. I was so okay. confused. Because I've obviously we've both got adult teeth, mm. right? But they are not yeah. of size. That's okay. I swear, I swear like this. Yeah, your yeah. teeth are little. I've got, I've I, I swear like this. Got baby teeth. Do you actually know? I swear like that. I've got breath. Listen, let me say something. I guess I'm making a mick, yeah, but I don't... Wait, let me say something. I went as far as getting Botox in my upper lip to lower my muscles so when I smile not too much gum is showing I'm telling you so when I say that this is just a genetic thing mm -hmm. it cannot be changed if he in your case yours is not per se gum a gum issue so you can get veneers but it's going to go be a complete different look yeah that's why I'm just going to go to teeth be a like, when, when I can different look. I'm definitely getting all my teeth done what are you so it still bothers you it still bothers you now yeah I wouldn't like if this was to come out, if I have to go dentist to get these taken out, but if this was to come out, and you got to clean it as well. I'll, be, I'll feel the type of way like, no, it's not happening. This is my look. Mm. This is and I've had it for seven years. I kid you not. I changed it. Yeah, I but what I'm saying is like, it, if you couldn't look. have, if you couldn't have that, them and had to rock your real t natural teeth, would you be? You just, you just wouldn't feel confident in your smile. Boy, I'm not smiling. But if you like had it cleaned oh, wow. up, you know, like. Be like this. No, he's not, uh, he doesn't this. like it. Nah, don't like it. Um, is that my phone? Mm -hmm. No, it's just fine. No, um, fine. okay, I'm gonna do one. This is to do more with a deep one. This is, this is a deep, deep one. This is not like something superficial because you know you can low key get over superficial things a little bit. Sorry, hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, yeah, here's. yeah, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> well, what's your one? You want to go first? With deep I don't mind. So, you know, like you said, not everything is superficial, but I am gonna mention one more superficial okay, one go on. because eventually I'm gonna talk about this one. Like, um, everyone just knows, isn't it? Mine will have to be my breast. Mm -hmm. I went through hell with my breast. This was so deep to me that I even at one point got referred to a psychologist mm -hmm. just to um, overcome what I was dealing with. Mm -hmm. Growing up, um, I really struggled with accepting myself for who I am in terms of my weight, hence the whole surgery thing, liposuction, the BBL. But before the BBL, it was actually my breast I really wanted to work on which I did, I got my implants, I had them about for five years, everything was lit, and I don't know what the fuck happened last year where I got into that problem and I ended up in hospital. But not only was I 
mistreated along the way in terms of help and support to deal with the problem. By the time everything got resolved and my breast went back to normal, which again, I've never shared this with anyone, so this is the first time I'm sharing it. I basically suffered a form of deformity in my breast. It was unbearable. It was un When I finally got hold of the doctor that saved me from the first implants that I had by removing them, he said, yeah, sis, you need another set of boobs. There's no other way of going through this. This is not going to sort itself out. Mm -hmm. So due to that, obviously, I was on a waiting list. I was looking to sue. I was really, really frustrated. But what was the big insecurity thing was that I had to look at that in the mirror um, every day. I got used to having boobs. I had them for like five years. Yeah. My confidence. She'll tell you. I was yeah. really... Yeah, just my yeah, what? she was like, really despite me trying on Instagram, and if you check my engagement on Instagram this year, in terms of how I've been posting, my music, it wasn't the same like last year. I never knew how much my breasts added to my confidence oh, okay. until they were gone. Okay. Does that make any sense? Yeah. So, to me, that was a big deal. It dealt with my mental health. It dealt with how I was being intimate with guys. I weren't letting them touch me, do certain so, things with me. Uh. Like I said, I had to see a psychologist. It was crazy. So, when I finally got that call that I was going to get them done, I nearly broke down into tears. I, I nearly like, I was so stressed in them two weeks. I don't know if people saw my stuff, but I was so stressed. I just couldn't believe this was um happening. And um, just to clarify, I got it through the NHS. And again, I'll explain it on my channel. But I would say, um, if I'm still just speaking on the super superficial stuff, my breast has been a journey and a half to the point that I still get PTSD. Remember, I, I showed you I can feel my implant and I'm already panicking. It's probably not a big deal. It probably might move, but I'm just still like, you know, I look at this breast and I look at this breast, I can see that they're both different and this was the breast that, like, had the problem. Okay. And I, I just get so, like, panicky. Yeah. So panicky. So, like, trust me when I... You might not think I'm looking after them, but trust me, compared to my first set... Okay. Sis. Yeah, on top of it. <laughs> good, 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 sis. Good, sis. Good, good, I am not playing. Yeah. I am not playing because I cannot go through what I went through last year. You can't be in fights. You can't really be in fights. Huh, did I not tell you? I went out yesterday... And obviously, I said to my girl, I said, look, if a bitch wanna try me, it's fine, she can have <laughs> She yeah, can have it. It's not, not in the middle. I just wanted to set off like a deep insecurity, but yeah, that, that was a big one for me. Like I said, it, it mainly affected me in relationships. Like, I would be doing my thing and I had a bra on. Okay, wow. <laughs> I would say my bra on. Oh, I'll turn the lights off. I'm my big age. Wow. <laughs> really? Is that where it stops? Oh my God, do you, like, do you love your boobies now? Oh, I'm, my, obviously, I've been posting non-stop i've been so Same active happy. so i'm definitely um oh i'm so happy but i'm not where i was when i first got them done five years ago um, the, um but the thing is you know like sometimes in life things are not perfect i don't love my boobies but i'm very happy yeah i blessed i think that's how they I'm are at, compared to what i went through yeah. the deformity like i said yes. like i'm gonna talk about it on my channel i don't want to go into it but they were really um bad do you know what i mean Everyone, when I told them I was on the NHS and they were in shot, I was like, I don't think you guys understand how, what we were dealing with. This was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, the thing is, the NHS, the like, they're not going to let anybody, like, commit suicide over, like, yeah. when you have a deformed part of your body, it can be boobies, your nose. You know some people would be born and their nose might be crooked, anything. Yeah. The NHS will try, you know. I'm guessing it's a normal procedure to say see a psychologist first. Yeah, I mean, they will try yeah, to yeah, help yeah. you so fix I went through all of that. You know, they I mean, do like actually I they, they try. To, they even tried to recommend me to go back to my... Yes, I don't know, did I scratch my makeup? No, no, no. no. So, I, they even recommended me to go back to Turkey. I'm telling to you, they, this was before I, took, I, I got my implant. This was time to remove it. They asked me to go back to Turkey, so that just goes to show you, like, it was all over the place. It was all over the place, like, but I'm glad I've got it done. I'm really, really happy. It's still an insecurity of mine, despite how I portray myself online. That's just because I have an image to maintain, so I ain't got a choice. But, honestly, it's been a journey and a half. But we're happy. I'm very happy, right, but yeah. I won't need, I'm not ready to, you know, get the, yeah. mm, but, you know, yeah, you mm, I'm happy, 100%. I'm happy. I can wear this outfit, so I'm happy. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> We're happy or better. Thank you. Um, you go, yeah, you go. I'm going to talk about one that's not, like, you said not physical. You. One that's deep yeah. to me. Not material, yeah, okay. Not fit, not fit, uh, outer one, it's the inner okay. one. Okay, so, one of my insecurities, right? I've never spoken about this. One of my insecurities. What, not even to me? I don't know. Oh, you, you tell me. I feel 
Like, so that's my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. It's early. Can we turn it off? Please? What time is it? How? Where's my phone? It's your phone, you know that. Okay, my insecurity, this is a deep one. I don't know if you, you, I think you might have a similar one, but in a different way. You, yours might be the same, you. the same, under the same umbrella, but yours might be different. Mm. So I, 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 I suppress majorly. Like, I don't even try, I don't really deep it. I don't even want to think about it, bro. <laughs> I suppress my desire to have a baby. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, I feel like you definitely do. Yeah, I definitely do. Like, I want to have a child, and I've, I probably wanted to have a child, if if, we're, if I'm going to be honest, for 10 years. However, because I want, because I'm so ambitious, yeah, yeah, I have a constant battle in my head, like, yeah. rah, like, nah, like, it's not, the, it's not the right time, it's not the right, right time, it's not the right time. And with me, I think everyone must have gauged this, because of how, you know, how I am on the internet. When I love, oh my God, Jesus Christ, you better run for the hills, like... <laughs> If you, if I love you, I love you way too hard, way too hard. So I'm scared that I might have a baby and might be like, oh, nothing else matters. Yeah. So honestly, so nothing else matters. I, you see what you're saying. I'm glad I didn't say it on my turn because I had a feeling you were going to say it. That is definitely my biggest fear. And I think when we, where we are in life right now, I don't think we anticipated we were going to be in a certain place at this time. Yeah. At this age. And yeah, we probably wanted to. Let's be honest. Blow at twenty one. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna because I had my life planned at this age. I had my life planned at this age. Let me not lie to you. Now I don't even know when I'm gonna go viral. I don't know when I'm gonna touch two hundred k views and that on the thing. I never. I didn't. Do you know? Do you know? I wasn't even. I didn't grow up. This is actually really genuine. I didn't grow up wanting to be some career woman. I didn't, Yasmin. Really? No, I wanted to be a family woman. No. no. Doing a part this when I had when I had a when I was probably in love yet, I said to him, I'm happy being part-time. You did all Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, mm. I said by 25, see. Yeah. You've actually you've got a daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you that. don't even relate to what nah, we're saying. Nah. One as a man and two as someone that has a child. Yeah. And you're not like uh, you're living a bit yeah. about age, but you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to ask you a question. Do you also feel, even though you're ambitious, so do you uh, do you feel like because you're so ambitious, you allow that to that's what's suppressing how you really feel about the situation. But don't you feel like even when you try to suppress it, yeah, there's people around you or things around you that are reminding you of these things. Oh yeah, because no if, if you if you had a baby, oh I can't talk to you, fam. <laughs> you need to you need to bounce. Why? 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 I, I can't. Can't. Why? I don't get it. She's taking it. I can't. No, I, need, I want to have a baby. I need to bounce. And, and, no, but think about it this way. So how would I feel if you have a baby? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn, exactly. It's not that deep, you know? It okay, is okay, that okay, deep. Okay, but then I'm not going to have it. It's a really glad no, so, so what, you're going to have babies at the same time? No, but think about this. Imagine having your yeah, own... Yeah, she needs to stop that obsession. Imagine having your own, your own little human. Do yeah, you know, know. How, that, how amazing No, but remember, I work with kids, so I already... These are children that are not even mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the attachment that I have to some of yeah. them is like... I would not let nothing happen to yeah, this. Yeah, this yeah. is my pressure. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just my job, you know. This is not even my picture. <laughs> this is just from that 8 to 6 p.m. After that, I'll go home. I'm about my business. I'm on TikTok. No, but that's good that you like that because that's why I'm shook to, for, to send my daughter nursery. I'm not sending her until she can speak. I, I think, I think, I think it, it, the nursery setting is a scary setting. That's always going to be a scary setting because you're thinking there's one person amongst how many children. Mm -hmm. However, the people working in there, they're not in there for a reason. Let's just put it that way. So when it comes to children, even when I go to work, like I'm one of them passionate people and I don't know how you can do this job without being passionate. Mm. But even when I go to work, I'm just thinking, guy, when I'm early. I know. Guy. And you know me, yeah, I keep it gang at work. I don't, I don't I'll sugarcoat. I don't, I'm going to do press ups. I'm thinking if I had my, if I had see, my own, it's, a it's feeling, nice like, having your own, and you yeah, see your daughter, your like daughter, her well. daughter, uh, his, sorry. His, <laughs> <laughs> his daughter. No, I don't need to do a DNA twin. test. That's my twin. Yeah. No, 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 no like, joke. So even now you're getting strong, it. Isn't it? He's not. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, you better not. Because like, honestly, her voice is. I'm not gonna. No, cry. Like, it's lit. No, like, like, I can't lie. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Like, like what my daughter's about a year and a half now. Like it's just and yeah, the change is so quick. Like it's just mad, isn't it? Like. I make sure I that, don't miss that one to two year old in it is Listen, insane. You like, don't want to miss any part of that. Now she's saying all nonsense, and her, her best one's come, 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 stop. And then she even told me I love you, and that's it. I want to know. They develop emotions at such a young age, yet, yeah, and only you as a parent can give them that love. Yeah, man. And obviously, 
<laughs> so you know what it is? You see when I pick her up from, from my mum's house, yeah? And she just sees me very excited, like, I'm like, yeah. At least she knows she's my, I'm her dad and whatever. And that is banging. Yeah, even, they, they are so smart. You see when you have a child, ah, you will never under, you will never believe the way that they understand the world at such a young age. Mm. The way that they get attached to their parents, the way that they can identify people. So you see that insecurity, the fact that I deal with that Monday to Friday, I hear it. Mm. I hear it, hun. And let me tell you something now, you see everybody that I say, they're all married, they all have begin. You know, it's not like I'm dealing with another bunch of single women or yeah. like talking stage women. I'm dealing with women that are married, they have husbands. So when I'm going there, the stories I've got for them is all about shade bubble, <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> Don't be telling me, oh yeah, I'm eight weeks deep, you know. I'm just like, you know, so. I don't talk about it as, like you said, it's something that I suppress with my success in other areas in my life or like my ambition, ambition in other areas in my life. But 100%, that one, that I one hit home. That home. was a deep one. That one hits home. I personally feel that planning, there's no planning. It's just when the time's right, like, I didn't plan. Just got, you're right, this, you're right, but is, what me and her are saying mm. here, we are so ambit like this. No, I get, I get that, I fully get that. And obviously like, it's between, it, do you think it you kind of can come right in now. a way in a sense of, Am I pushing this or am I taking time out to do that? Because sometimes you can't afford to take that time do out you, depending on what you're That's true, but do you feel like you would have had a child by now if you didn't get to where you are now with a few things in your life? Do you think you would have probably breeded? Um, if, if some of my relationships had worked out, um, there were bad relationships, there weren't good ones, but I was controlled a lot. Oh, what? hundred million percent. I probably, I could have three, but I wouldn't be happy though. Yeah. You have to remember, before you love, before you can love, anyone or whatever you have to love yourself so you have to That's give yourself what you deserve paying, i do really <laughs> love myself okay you have to give yourself what you need which is obviously what you want out of life which is your ambitions your dreams and once you put love into yourself yeah then you, then can, you can pull love yeah, into other yeah. so i don't of, of course i want i want a baby but i i don't want to think of me like i said i love so hard yeah that i could become lost in being a mummy like I'll just give all of it to my yeah. kid and then I'll put, push everything behind. I, I even sometimes think like, right now I'm with you, it's nine o'clock. If I had a, a daughter or a son, I would be feeling guilty. Do you understand? Like, it's, it's, it's the timing, of course the timing is never perfect because you're always going to be busy. You don't stop the grind, innit? Yeah, of course not. But, but you'd be more, timing will be a little bit better. I think for where you are in life, timing works for her. Right. Where you were in life and you had a child, it, timing was, you know. There was no. Even there, a, I can't lie to you, there was no plan. It was just like, that's what I'm going to say. And I was like, where she's at, yeah, she's. Be a good mom, so it's slip. And that's it, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all, but I really hear what you're saying. But you are doing the right thing in making sure you complete that journey first since that was what came first. Okay, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If a child came first before where you are at right now, yeah. You would have, yes. like you said, yeah. you wouldn't be here right now. You probably mm. would be busy because your mums, mums are twenty four seven. No, she's just you. Know, at most, you yeah. understand. Yeah. Yeah. God knows what kind of content you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Might, you yeah. Might have been I feel like you still would have had the content yeah, yeah, yeah. side Mommy of you, talk. but it would have been very. Yeah, different. yeah, 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 yeah. Mummy talk. Yeah, hundreds. You, you could have had all of that, so it really depends. But you are at this place now, and um, I think it's very really important that you mention that, just not even as to do with our age or being an influencer, but I think just women in general. That is something that we look at, the whole children thing, especially the ones that haven't done things traditionally. I think they criticise themselves um, a lot. The ones that maybe their parents are together as well, they criticise themselves a lot. But I really think, you know, you can't put, you can't put time on these kind of things. Yeah. Like, it's really different for everybody, no matter what age. Nicki Minaj done had her pick me up. At the end of the day, do you know what? Yeah, you got facts. Like, it's one of them she ones. She had well, her, yeah. sorry, sorry, I got a but How old is she though? She, that's not the point. She had her pick me up. Is she like 40. 38? Do you understand? No, she's 40. Is she really? She's 40. Yeah, she really okay, cool. Is. So she had her child at 40, like a newborn. And, the, by the, and time, the baby's healthy. By the, time, the baby's good, she's good, but yeah. and she's got, you know, she's done what? By the time she's 60, that child's only going to be 20. Mm -hmm. Only going to be 20, just approaching adulthood, do you understand? Mm -hmm. But guess what? She ain't even thought that far. You know why? Because in the present, she's happy. It was all about timing. Yeah, facts. She's one of the most successful rappers right now, 10 years plus strong. Yeah, yeah, facts. No matter what. No ma she don't even need to drop her. She just goes on Instagram, posts the picture, I've gone clear. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? So, but she was at that place where she was pushing her career so much. Mm. And she probably had questions about when am I going to have a baby? Here's another one, little Kim. Fucking hell, little Kim's been in the game for time. 
She had a picking late, you know. Mm. Because when you're in the game, you're in the game. When you're so successful, it's very hard to let go. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And I feel like Nicki Minaj is a great example. Mm. Beyonce, I would even say partially, do you understand? But Beyonce was already in a unit mm -hmm. before having kids with Jay-Z. But Nicki Minaj is a prime example. Mm. There's no way that growing up with all the guys around her, all the relationships that she was in mm. with Meek Mill, mm. that already had a child. So there was a potential there to have to have a child with you, man. That he was really he already knows about having children, you understand? No, but, but it's she, definitely different for men than women, so I, Yeah, I okay, fair 100%. enough. Oh shit, I keep feeling, I'm so sorry. 100%, it's definitely it's okay. different for men than okay. women when it sorry. comes to that. Yeah, he's in it. Yeah. What about you? Yo, okay, we've done a, yeah, yeah, seven, yeah. So my half, yeah, because remember I said I had one and a half. <laughs> so half, it's half. half. Yeah. It's, it's half, innit? Like, I feel like I know this. I can personally change it, yeah, but it's half, innit? Like, and I'm going to give this, you a trick question as well. I've got this complex, yeah. I always see myself as skinny. I've been very skinny. I will never go back there. Like, no. Not happening. Like, mm -mm, I'm not coming out my house. I'm not coming out my so house. So I wouldn't say you're skinny, I, though. Yeah, but you. that's fine. That's what you say, innit? But when I look in the mirror, I see myself as skinny. Do you get it? And it's, it, it, no, I've, I've never gone back there. Do you think you're You've got a great body. I was going to say. No, yeah, I know I've got a great body now, but high. I still see myself. Can you show oh. them? Do you mind just showing them? Yeah, I think no, you have to lift it up. Just lift it up. No, because no, no, they, 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 they don't know. They don't know you. This is just a six pack. Yeah, but they don't know you. There we go. Skip. Skinny wear. Yeah, I'm, so I don't I'm, even I'm trying to get some chub, yeah. Like literally, I've even got this um, these scales, yeah, so that that break down everything and show me what because I like I bounce. I've got a very fast metabolism in it, and I've had a very a, a sports background from young, so I was always playing sport. But I've been very skinny, and I even think whilst even going as far as I did in football and whatnot, if I had a bit more weight, mm. I would a bit be, be a bit more dominant, especially in the position I was playing because I was playing centre back, so that's defensive line here. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like yeah, I would have been definitely a bit more strong in that sense but yeah no definitely like and I'm, where i've seen the transformation as well when i was at my biggest because i've lost a lot of weight i was yeah, I'm not, bigger before, so yeah pictures. way bigger before like i've lost a lot of weight but it's like i'm at that fine line i'm not trying to go back there because if i go back there that's just instant depression i know that straight away so i'm trying to maintain and trying to maintain but it's like so many different other distractions but at the same time i'm just still trying to keep on top of it because i can't go back to being skinny I don't yeah. care, all the tattoos, the red hair, it's, it's not going to help. Okay, I'm so glad you mentioned that. I'm going to really throw something out there to him because he only mentioned half in okay. insecurity, so I'm going to go find the other half. Because me and him have this discussion every other okay. day. And he's already mentioned tattoos. So, mm. I'm very intrigued about your tattoos. <laughs> and as much as like you've, you're inked, they look lit, they, you don't even need to count them, they're more like pictures. The there you go. It's more like it tells stories. I'm sure it's very easy to get into a conversation about your tattoos with people. Mm. But on a personal scale, would you say that that was triggered by anything? Mm. Or is that something that is, you know, it would be interesting if you it is or isn't. Yeah. But I just want to know your opinion on it. Because you are very inked. Yeah, I mean, let's can we just shut up one more time? Okay. Like, uh, where's the, tell me where you're not inked. Okay, where I'm not inked is my thighs and my, my right hand. I'm not always like, yeah, 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 go for it. And he'll tell you, I'll be yeah. like, no. No. I was even asking her about Yeah, like, he still does it anyways, and I'm all for that. You understand? Do what makes you happy, but what about the tattoos? Did something trigger one tattoo and then you just went with it? Like, what happened? I've been thinking about tattoos since I was like 15 years old. Because like like I said, like obviously everyone's got something when they look at themselves, they just want to change, innit? It's yeah. just natural. I don't care what no one says. No one's gonna look in the mirror and say, Yeah, I don't wanna change nothing. Everyone wants to change something, that's fact. Yeah. It's how you cope with it, innit? And for me it was like tattoos when I've always wanted to, I've always been thinking about tattoos since I was fifteen years old, I swear to you. Like I had a checklist of what I was gonna get tattooed and I've ticked all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And then what it was, it started becoming a way of changing who I am. Like distracting the eyes from everything else. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I used to think, yeah, I've got a big forehead, X, Y, Z, it was long. I've got tattoos, got my hair colour changed, everything. It distracted from what was bothering what, me. So, so now, uh, now, when you're looking at it, you're not looking at that no more. You're looking at this. Do you get what I'm saying? And it became a sort of a sense of therapy for me. Like, mm -hmm. I kid you not, that's what I've got. Would you say, on. obviously, where you are at now, you've gone past that stage? Is there any little bit of elements of that that's still there? Or would you say you've definitely just gone past that stage, just doing it for the sake of doing it, even if it may have started I've off I've gone past like to this, past this, said that, that stage, but at the same time, it's, it's definitely like, I've got so much tattoos now that I'm running out of ideas. But mm. I, at the same time, I'm still in my head that I want to get another tattoo. Mm. I just... 
You're addicted to tattoos. Yeah, I'm addicted. But do you not think? Obviously, you told me you know, about your. You said you, you spoke about your body, mm. but do you think that like, your face? You you think you're cute now? Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's just your body that plays with your head. Because, no, it was, because it was my, it, no, I can't lie. My, I'm I'm cute now, yeah, but definitely, yeah, bro. The glow up is real. <laughs> <laughs> the glow is real, but, like, do you know what it is? Yeah, for me, yeah, what a main thing was, yeah. If you get onto your insecurities first, no one else can get onto you. For like, if you know when people try to cuss you and say this, that, left, right. Yeah. If you say it first, yeah. What have you got left? Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So even though yeah, I go about yeah, this, that, left, right. In the back of my head, that used to hurt me a lot back in the day. You feel me? Like, I, those were things I didn't want to hear. Those were things I was like, you know what? When I get the chance to, I'm changing it. So I eat my teeth. I eat getting tatted up. Like it was, I wanted to change and distract, and I wanted yeah. to become someone totally different. That's, that's, really that's just pure facts. I did the teeth one, and partially I've that? done the tattoo one. Like a lot of people don't see it on the show up close, but I've got acne on my chest. Mm. So when I did this tattoo, my dad nearly collapsed on the street. And don't forget my breast situation. So when my breast went back to its original size, my acne showed more. When I had breast, where it tightened my skin, it, you couldn't see it as much. So that whole situation, I just went to the tattoo shop and I just went. Because it's like shush, a shush. distraction, right? Like, like, and that's it. So now it's a whole change. The tattoo, they don't really question what's underneath it. Some don't even notice, notice that. I'm they don't see you, it. They don't even notice it. So I totally understand the whole tattoo thing right. and the teeth. Yeah, like it's for real. Like, I just <coughs> decided, you know what? I want to change. I want to. I want to. It's almost starting again, and hence the change name, whatever. It's starting again. Yeah. A new leaf, like. I know how, when you know me, from what name you call me. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because it's changed over over years. I know when you know me, and more time, that part of my life, I was just like, yeah, you know me back then, yeah, it's cool, whatever. But I'm really trying to distance myself from that only because how I felt back then. Didn't it? I didn't really like how I felt back then, you feel mm. me? It's really nice that he's opened up. Do you know why? Because I feel like females, obviously boys might know, mm. but I feel like females, just ignore, ignore, ignore. It's my phone. No, it's my phone. It's fine. I'm listening. It's my phone, bro. That's my phone. Oh, we we're almost done. I feel like girls don't, uh, some girls don't even realize that b boys are insecure or guys are insecure. Do you know that? I feel like girls always feel like it's them. They have to have be perfect. Do you get what I mean? Like, like get, girls put guys on pedestals. Yeah. But guys, um, I feel like guys suffer in silence. Do you know yeah, girls? Yeah, they, 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 like, they, they deal with it with like you know how they are with girls. Yeah. How yeah. they are in the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what makes them feel better because uh, men are not ones to instantly change. You are one of a few mm. that have done what you've done yeah, and you've liked what you've done. So, so you've gone beyond this insecurity yeah. stage. You're generally doing it because you enjoy tattoos. Yeah, I'm doing that. Like I'm over that. But there are people that are not like you that, that haven't been able to change their height. Yeah. They've not been able to change their, you know, down below size. Or that their yeah. hairline. They've, they've, they understand. And they're so really because of that, they deal with it in other ways. They start flashing their money. Yeah, 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 fine. They start moving different in the clubs. You understand? They're always around the rappers and, not, you know, they know how or to... Or they beat up girls. Or they beat up girls. They, yeah. they can't deal with rejection. Do you understand? There's all types of different type of men. Like I said, you're one of a few that found something that I found something and that it helped definitely you helped me because I now with those issues and like, now you enjoy what you exactly, say. Exactly, you turn around and call me vain, but I ain't vain. I just I've had to love myself enough to become the man I am today because I always say it to everyone like. Like, oh, you're a very, very good looking boy. Like, Thank you very much. Man, I sorry, it. very good. But looking like, man. I feel like if you tell yourself enough that you love yourself, you love yourself, you yeah. love yourself. Before you know it, you're gonna believe it, and before you know it, you're gonna attract that energy around. So, yeah. therefore, my insecurities that I used to have in the past, they're non-existent. People don't bring that up to me. You feel me, like, and that's because I feel like that mentality that I've had, and always focusing on this positive side and this change, this positive change that I've done and whatever, and how it's making me feel happy inside, is bringing it out through others. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that when I'm talking Why to others, he's so sweet. No, no, no. Yeah, Why no, I'm just. Me? <laughs> Stop it. Do you know what I mean? But like, yeah, man, that's that's. I, I'm. Bitten. He winked at me though. Like, what can Stop I say? Stop unnecessary. Like, no, do you know what it is? I got. It. I yeah. Had water, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do one more? <laughs> I got one more little one. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to do one more? No, you go. Okay, mine is just mine is um semi obvious. I feel like it's obvious. Um, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I sit back, yeah, and I think to myself, what the fuck has my life become? <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you I ever have this? I think that's all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Listen, that's not an insecurity. 
That is life. <laughs> there were times here yeah, I've had a decent. Oh, let me tell you all three of us right now. That we windy got, day. We all got a job. Yeah. We all got a yard. Yeah. Yeah. Two out of three of us drive. I don't drive. <laughs> but I got money. So I can afford to share. <laughs> nothing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. What I'm trying to make is we are living good enough than some people across the world. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, we can come in from a long day at work. Remember that 10 hour edit you had to do? Yeah. What have you been through? Uh, let me see. What have you, could you have gone through? I don't know. There's been times you've left my yard last train before you had the van. <laughs> but everyone's going to my mum. What I'm trying to make is there's times that you just wake up and you're just like, what the fuck? Why am I not doing X, Y, and Z? Yeah. How did I end up here? Why am I still doing bloody bloody? No, my social media life as well. I was weak and I don't, I don't want to add social media to mine because I really had to get my. I took a year off, nearly a year. Yeah, you did. Bruv, I took nearly a year off. Yeah. To really forget. Rebalance. Because yeah, but you is you, a different. Yeah, thing. social media so, make you feel insecure though. Babe, you and your friend came to Valentine's Day when I was crying in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was just like, why is my life so shit? Like, yeah. I was so confused. Honestly, like, there were times where, like, you do sit back and you're like, life. But I personally wouldn't call that insecurity. I think that it's just a natural human feeling that we need to feel because eventually you push, push yourself. Past it, yeah. You you encourage yourself after a while. You do have that phase where you bring yourself down or you compare yourself to situations or with us deal with social media, is this gonna work for us? Do we need to pause at this time? Why am I getting hit? But you I what? never I never thought, for me, I never thought when I was younger that I would grow up to be controversial. So someone you know, like, I, I, what I didn't the think so either because when on? I first followed you, yeah, when I first followed you, I, just before on back chat, and I did a video about you on YouTube, yeah. that's what your body went When I followed you then, Babe, there was no personality. You didn't even speak. Yeah, it was just, it was just, like, I didn't even know what she sounded like. It was just pictures. It was very luxury nails, and you know she yeah. had a dark hat, the beautiful yeah, picture. Yeah. She was very prestige. I didn't even know I'd be in the same element with her, <laughs> the same video with her. <laughs> Years later, I'm telling you, I was talking about. But look at me now, I'm ratchet. Yeah, but I feel like that's good then. <laughs> Because when I followed her, like I said, you did have, but you evolve, things change, you understand? You want your social media to go, you have to follow what's working for you, do you understand? If you maintain what you were back then, that's nice, but you wouldn't have got to where you are now. Yeah, I was just so, be an Instagram girl with men following me and it was just dead to me. Exactly, you know, it's nice after a while, but you weren't making money from it. I was, but like, Not enough. I wanted to be, I wanted to be cuddy. I wanted to be cardi, you know everyone. But you weren't doing cardi things then. I know, so I had to change it up. Exactly. I yeah, yeah. Right now. You feel happier, now, isn't it? Exactly. I do feel happier, but life. sometimes I look at look, look at it and think, fuck you. I think hate I comments. Think, I think the I social media. I don't think the hate comments will come. No, the hate comments are bad, but also I think another thing is that when yeah, you get yeah, to no where you ain't popping, man. That's true. I feel like with social media, when you get to where you are right now, you think to yourself like, why? So I don't know about you. I sometimes ask myself like, why is it taking so long? Like I look back at when I could have been doing certain things and maybe the impact I would have had then if I did things in a different way then. Does that make any sense? Do you look back at that? I always think I should have started YouTube like five years before I did. Whoa, you, know you see YouTube? I don't even want to talk about YouTube because I'm really upset that. What's I four years shall not pass you? Do you understand? Amen. All it is is when the time happens, and when the time happens, that's when it was meant to happen. And it took me a long while. When, I say, when I'm saying it, out here saying these things, it took me a long Listen, while to actually come in that mindset. Done? Do you get what I'm trying to say? To come in that mindset and actually, you know what? Positive. That's why I even said to you, I'm getting you that whiteboard. So every day you can wake up, write something positive. So I can. Yes, me is addicted to her phone. Just then. What's that I'll got get, to do with anything right now? What's that got to do with anything right now? Like, it's a thing I do and it helps me in. Staying positive, keeping that mindset, because I think it was like one time I read, I read the book called Secrets. I didn't fully read it, but the main bit I, I read was the law of attraction. Mm. And then I started thinking, what do I want in life, innit? And then I just started focusing on that and in a sense manifesting and making it come alive. Yeah. In my mind, throwing out that positive energy and hopefully it comes back the same way like a boomerang, you feel me? So yeah, just... Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our... Um our insecurities video if you want any because i usually do fun videos this wasn't a, this wasn't fun this was this was real yeah it was real so if you want more real videos just about like you know real shit let us know and yeah hope we helped you as well just remember when you're suffering everyone's suffering no one's completely happy at all at all yeah Even the ones that you're looking at have made a big example of Nicki Minaj having a child at 40 so if that's one of your insecurities about children yeah use that as not necessarily a testimony but just um have a thought that 
it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, guys. Okay. We're all in this together, guys. I love you guys so We're much. All in this together. Uh, 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 I think so. Yeah. We skipped like a whole <laughs> So guys, I don't like you, but I'm ready to. Yeah, we're done. Make sure you sub, follow, yes. all that good stuff. Yeah. And I'm gonna just try and be but more I'm consistent on YouTube. Not even try to, not even try. We're easy. definitely doing it. Remember, we didn't come down with me, guys. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, Christmas version. Oh, what? Yeah. Come oh. down with me. Everyone has to cook. Can we come to yours? Yeah. Yeah, you can come to mine. Oh, he can do it too then. Yeah, he can. Oh, he's himself. Cause some people, oh, that's fine. Some people, there are people who can't do it at all, babe. Okay. We'll talk about it off camera. Anyway, guys, love you. Okay. What the hell did I just sign off to? Yo. Hey. Hey, Jelly. Listen. I got one bay bay for the days out, one for the nights out, one for the lights out. I got one I can tell come later, and I got one I can tell come right now. Got a bay that drops off cash, got a bay that direct debits in a flash.